Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Now today we'll be talking about the new arrangements that I actually made with my desk setup. So as you've seen through my videos, I've actually uh, put the studio setup in the middle of the room. Now the problem is since we have a small room here, basically what I call my own studio. I'm actually sharing this room as well with my child. So a few of her toys are here and having the desk set up in the middle of the room puts more clutter and it makes it more disorganized. So basically what I thought of to myself now, hey, why not just actually put the table just up against the wall and put a little flair to it at least. Actually, it's still pretty much in the making, but as you can see here, there's a few items here that for my taste is pretty good. And I'd rather just put everything that I usually use just on top of the table instead of actually putting them back in and putting them out again. Um, I know it's not practically a minimalist setup, but it's, it's everything here that I need. And I hope by the near future, um, it'll actually be enough for basically an organized setup that's not pretty much cluttered. But compared to my um, previous um, positioning of the table and um, my previous um, allocation of all of my equipment, um, it's actually more cluttered. First and foremost, as you can see here, this table right here is very, very cheap table. Actually, if you ask me, I've just picked this up downstairs. I've recycled the table. It's actually still pretty sturdy. The only problem is it doesn't have a few wheels on the bottom, but otherwise this is actually a computer table. You have your pull down drawer here and as well some cupboards there as well on the, on the sides. But honestly, this still works and it didn't actually cost me anything at all. It's much better than buying a table from Ikea, although I am looking forward to, you know, making my own desk setup. So what I have on top of my table is, for starters, I have attached some strip lights here, one here, and also, I have also have the Wheelite LCD light here as well that I usually charge before I do my videos. Now, with the strip lights, I just purchased this strip light on the one on the back. I just purchased that from Kmart but not for this reason. More so, I've used this strip light on our camping trips and lately we haven't been using this strip light so I thought to myself, why not just attach it to the back of the table and actually use it. And it pretty much has been a very good setup. So far, so good. So at least I'm recycling and I'm using this old stuff as well. Okay, so continuing on with the studio, um, I've actually picked up this very neat um, picture as well, just downstairs. It actually, again, didn't cost me anything. Um, someone didn't want it, so I just managed to just snag it up myself, just at least to add some characters on the studio itself. Now, including with the desk setup, I have my ring light here, which just cost me um, maybe more so around 18 to 20, 25 dollars. It's actually pretty cheap and you can actually find a lot of products in Kmart that, that could sell really less for the use that they can provide you with your studio setup. You can see I also have an extra camera here. So this is the e Canon EOS M3. Now I also have attached it to Gorillapod. Now the thing is with this is that um, I've attached a mic here as well in case I want to make different angles. So as you can see, I can just go here and have a different angle on the shot as opposed to just having this one angle right here. At least I have two going on and as well, I won't be losing any audio because I have this and I have this as well with me. Now, this actually is really good for doing live video feeds as well. Now with the rest of the desk setup, I have my 2014 MacBook Air here. I know it's pretty old, but it still works with Final Cut Pro, even though it's really slow. But with regards to this, not only do I have my um, 2014 MacBook Air here, but I also have attached two storage drives as well. So apart from this, I also have the one terabyte SanDisk SSD and also a four terabyte hard drive as well available here. So at least, you know, if I need 
to have my videos on the go, I can just readily just pull out my Sanus and just um, then just bring it with me anywhere I go. Because the thing is with my four terabyte Seagate's hard drive is that it's actually connected to the power surge. So it needs power if I'm going to have to use it. With the MacBook Air comes the Apple mouse, which I've been using. I don't want to buy any other form of mouse yet because I can still work with the mouse and with the trackpad as well when editing my video. So I didn't feel any need to actually use a different mouse at the moment, although it is irritating to actually charge the mouse from the bottom. Now with that, along with my table is my Blue Yeti X mic. I will actually use this, basically just doing my videos, I can use this for actually better audio as well. Like I said, I have a few things on top of my table. I know it does look a bit cluttered, but this is how I do my work. This is actually my work setup. And the thing is, what I find about um, this current desk setup is, again, everything is already on top. I already know what I'm looking for. I don't have to rummage on the bottom of the table just to look what I'm looking for. Now on the side of the table, we also have the M1 iPad Pro that I previously used before I actually transferred to Final Cut Pro. So I'm hoping in the near future I can purchase um, a brand new MacBook, um, but it's not at the cards at the moment. <laughs> okay, so next thing that I have here is this one as well. Now this one guys is the Wii Lite. LED light. Um, it actually cost me, I think, around 30, $30 $35. Not sure if that's pretty cheap, but to me it is. It actually has helped me in a lot of my lighting situations. So not only do you have your RGB light there, you can actually change modes as well. Um, unfortunately, this one is not magnetic, but to be quite honest, I don't have any magnets or I don't have any metal things attached to the table. So I, I find this pretty much just right for my setup, for my build basically. And the one that actually holds this on the side of my table is actually this. Now, this guys is... <laughs> Funny thing, this is a cell phone mount for a car's dash. So I've repurposed it just to hold on my Wii light and then just attach it here onto the side of the table where, where it'll light up the plant, giving it that character as well with the whole setup. Now, I've, oh, I almost forgot. Lastly, I also have two plants, but I'm still working that out. I'm trying to build a kind of like a pseudo nature centric kind of setup but I'm not pretty sure yet what I'm doing but yeah it's it's a work in progress and also last but not the least um, is this this is my prized possession I use this after making YouTube videos this is actually a Sony PS Vita I'm sure there are a few of you there who still <laughs> owns a PS Vita for me it's both nostalgic and one of the best handled devices that I have so far um, I also have the L2 and R2 um, adapters attached to the PS Vita as well because I, I'm still used to that PlayStation PlayStation 2 gaming. So I need to be my L2 R2. Actually, the setup is pretty is pretty clean. If I can just show you around here, so this is my desk setup and. Back then it was all the way here in the middle. So there's space here, there's also space there. Now the problem with that setup is that, um, is that it's too cluttered because there's a lot of things going on here as well. So I've just recently cleaned that and I've just recently consolidated everything. So now the desk is actually on the other side of the wall and which, which gives me a lot of room here to build up um, a few things I might. I'm thinking of maybe putting a table around there just for those overhead shots, for those product shots. Basically a few more things such as that chair. Now the thing is with this chair is that, you know what, uh, I don't have a swivel chair just like other people. So just managed to use my old dining room chair, which my wife actually doesn't mind. But to be quite honest, I really don't need a swivel chair. Um, maybe for lumbar support, I might just buy one, but for now, again, it's not on the cards. And as well, this chair is not bad. 
you know, I just need a chair to sit on, basically. I don't need something to rotate or to roll me around. I can just literally just lift up the chair and then just put it where I want to, place the chair or face the chair where I want to, and I'll be set. Oh, don't mind the mess right there. That's actually just my work bag and my daughter's bag and her toy. So again, um, this, this whole room, this whole desk or studio setup, is a work in progress, but I just wanted to show you how it is right now. So again, that is my desk setup. It's actually, I think it's a bit cluttered still, but it's a modest desk setup. So what do you guys think? Do you have a similar desk setup? Do you also have the same problems that I had with regards to placing and having the, the ideal desk setup for your YouTube videos? Um, let me know down in the comments down below. Anyways guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and also hit that bell icon for any more future notifications. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next vid.